When I was a child, I used to absolutely love Valentine's Day. I would send the little candy hearts with the sayings on them, little notes to all my friends and people that I hoped would become my friend, people that I admired. Anytime you immerse yourself in love, your life becomes better. You need to saturate yourself in love. I'm known for a saying that I've said at many seminars, you might have heard me say this, no life is worth living until you fall in love with it. Are you in love with your life? Do you love every aspect of your life? Or do you constantly criticize your life and wait until tomorrow for something to happen before you will give yourself permission. What is that, a new relationship, a new job, a new home, a new place to live? No, don't put off. Don't put off the incredible joy that is given to you by God. Work on actively falling in love with your life and every aspect of it. Now, every time you criticize, every time you see something wrong, I'm going to ask God to remind you, to stop you, so that you can turn that around and feel the love of God and feel that love of God coming through you from the Creator to love your life. Have I ever seen people do great success with this? Yes, many times, including myself many years ago, where I would wait until something happened before I give, gave myself permission to be totally happy and in love with everything. No matter what is going on, you can love your life. You can love every minute of your life. Now, here's what I ask you to do. I ask you to pray constantly that you have God's love coming through you, touching you, filling you, every aspect of your mind, every particle of your body. I pray that you realize that you are literally surrounded and saturated in love. And then when you become that, it changes your whole presence. You feel from the depth of your soul a new love, a new level. You know, it's one thing to be afraid of death, but it's another thing to be afraid of living. And so many people are. They, they are just afraid to step out and become what they know that they should become. Well, don't you be afraid. Don't you be afraid to love yourself and to love your life. I've talked to some people and they say, well, this is wrong. I shouldn't be that way. That's vain. Uh, I should uh, think about others first. My friend, unless you're filled with love, you can't give out love. Can a sprinkler that is void of water sprinkle? You have to be filled with love and then allow it to overflow from you. And without restriction, you will be able to do that. I pray that this is a week that goes beyond just the holiday. That it is a week for you where you have a permanent spiritual experience. Being filled with the love of God, being saturated with the love of God, and being able to give that love away, but never to the point that it is emptying you, because love always replenishes itself. 
And more than that, it will draw to you love from the outside. I pray that every part of your life is magical and absolutely magnificent as you are filled with the love of God, as you retain that love of God, as you experience that love of God. Happy Valentine's Day.